Good morning everyone, welcome to Choosing Plants. My name is Heather and this is the channel where I complete different 30-day vegan challenges to see if I um, might find one that's really worth doing for the rest of my life or ones that are more challenging than others. There's been a few that have been really difficult challenges for me. Um, and every time it's a little bit different and you get to eat different food and you have to do different things and it's kind of an exciting way to see what um, is something that really would fit with your lifestyle. So anyways, this particular challenge is, um, I was actually looking online for a boot camp type challenge. I wanted to, um, I want to do a celery juice challenge and I wanted to do a juicing challenge like, um, I guess his name is, I don't know his last name is Cross, I don't remember his first name, but like the dude from, is he Australia or New Zealand, something like that. Um, got a cool accent, but I wanted to do something like a juicing type um, challenge, but I just haven't really settled down on exactly what particular type of challenge, but I'm always at the point of thinking, you know, I'm just a little bit softer than I would like to be. I should probably work on exercising to try and tone things up a little bit, especially with me being 40 now. Um, it just seems like a smart thing to do to try and keep exercise as part of a daily regimen. So I was looking for a boot camp challenge. And what I found was all sorts of interesting things, but I didn't want to do it outside of my house. I wanted to do something that would be at home and not necessarily something that required a lot of equipment because yes, I have a treadmill and I have an exercise bike, but I don't really have, um, we had a Bowflex at one point, but I, I really didn't like it and I didn't hardly ever use it. So we got rid of that. Um, so anyways, I came across this uh, website called darebee.com, D-A-R-E-B-E-E.com. And they have, it's a really cool website. You guys really have to go check this out. They have a ton of different types of programs that you can follow, that you could try, that have different exercises. Um, and then they have a ton of different um, recipe meal plan things that you follow. So um, I wanted to show you guys that. And believe it or not, um, I thought that I had already filmed this intro video really and truly. I went to upload it this morning and there wasn't one there on my phone. And I was like, I really pretty sure I did this, but I must not have because it's not on my phone. So I've thought about doing my intro video multiple times and I'm already on day four of my regular challenge. So <laughs> let's just do it now, I guess. But that's okay because um, it gives me a little bit better feel for what it is the challenge is actually going to entail. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things on the website itself so you um, get to see a little bit about what it is that I'm actually going to be doing. So let's go turn on my laptop and take a look. Alrighty guys, so if you type into your web browser darebee.com, this is the first um, page that comes up. And there are a bunch of different programs and challenges that you can pick from. And when I looked under programs, I looked through quite a few of these and they have, I mean, they've got a bunch. <laughs> There's a lot of different ones. This one I thought was really kind of neat. It's like a story that you read and you do exercises in the middle of the story that correspond with the story a little bit. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, there's military ones. There's high, in, high interval intensity training, how to, high intensity interval training, something like that. The hit ones. Um, and so I was looking through a bunch of these. There's actually multiple pages of them. And I came to this one that's called Foundation. And I thought that sounded like it would be of interest to me because when I was looking at it, it was focused on general fitness. Um, and that was kind of what I was thinking would be important because I, I really want to focus on something that would be um, just overall getting healthier. Um, again, no equipment was really important. I was really looking for that. Um, and then difficulty said it was suitable for beginners, like it's only a difficulty level of two. They've got a, a foundation light, which I think is actually a difficulty level one that you could do if you wanted to. Um, but anyway, it goes through and it talks about what the different um, plans, it's got more information on there. And then the suggested meal plan, which we'll talk about that in a minute. And so it goes through and it has day one through 30 and you click on this and it brings up what it is for exercises that you're supposed to do for the day. So my husband and I, when we decided what we were going to do, we we're going back and forth a little bit about whether we want to start with level one or level two. And the only difference is how many repetitions you do. So you do on day one, you do these four exercises um, and then you rest for two minutes and then you do it again, you rest for two minutes, you do it again. And so for level one, you do it three times total. And for level five, two, you would do it five times total. We decided on level three. Um, which was um, a level one, excuse me, with three sets, which was actually a, a good plan, to be honest with you, because, yeah, it's been um, 
a little bit more challenging than I expected it to be, to be honest with you. So anyway, we're doing this foundation challenge. One of the nice things about this is that if you don't don't have a timer set up, um, like you could click on the two minutes and it will time your two minutes in between. You could tell it how many sets you've done so it will keep track of it for you. Um, it's pretty cool. It's actually a really neat, very basic, but very cool um, program. So we're, that's the plan that we're doing. If you look under meal plans, there are a lot of options under meal plans. And this modern hero meal plan is the one that they suggested at first. But when I looked at it, they also have a modern hero meal plan that's vegetarian and that's vegan. So I'm doing the vegan plan. And basically what it entails is you eat three times a day, at least four hours apart each time. And you want the first Meal one is one cup of this column, one cup of this column, two cups of this column. Meal two is exactly the same, and meal three is one cup and two cups. So you skip the middle column, which is more like your rice and potatoes and oats and that type of thing. Um, it does say if you want to that with either your first meal or your second meal of the day, either your ABC, ABC, you can put a serving of fruit with that if you'd want to. Um, and you can also have two slices of bread with one of the first two meals if you want to. So that hasn't, the whole bread thing hasn't come up for me at all. Uh, maybe it will, I don't know. Um, but the fruit, I've taken advantage of that every day so far because that's definitely something that I enjoy. Um, it's interesting that there's some crossover between these two. So like if you wanted to have a lot of beans, which you, I mean, sure, it's healthy. You could have your one cup of beans for here. You could also have a cup of beans here. So you could actually have two cups of beans and then two cups of vegetables. Um, to keep in mind though, corn and peas are in this column. So you can't actually count them as being one of your vegetables which is okay. Um, you can also have vegan cheese. You can have um, the nut or seed butter and you can have nuts or seeds. So that's actually kind of nice to be able to include those in your plan as well. And the biggest thing is this whole four hours minimum between meals. And then it has on here somewhere. Well, it has recipe ideas for like this one is A plus B plus C meals. And then this one is just A plus C meals. So that's that's cool. Um, it does have on here, which I thought was a really cool feature, a, a way to calculate your, um, let's see, um, where would it be? Under nutrition, um, why we need to eat more fiber. So if you were to look at this, oh, okay. Well, it liked it that time. All right. If you look at this and you go down a ways, um, obviously fiber is super important. That's one of the reasons that it fo it's focused in this challenge. Um, down towards the bottom, it has a calculator that you can use. And it doesn't have everything on here, so it's not like, oh, that's super, super convenient, but it does have a lot of things on here. So, so you had a, you had one cup of black beans. Okay. So you had that for your first meal and maybe your second meal, you had split peas and your third meal you had chickpeas and then maybe you had some broccoli and you had some corn and some cabbage maybe half an avocado um, and then in your middle of the time you could have a sweet potato so anyways it tells you you could pick these things and it will tell you how much your total daily fiber is and according to um, a lot of information says that the amount of fiber a typical American gets is about 15 grams in a day and you we need to be shooting for at least 30 so their daily goal of 30 or more is is right on with where it should be. So I really thought this would be a fascinating challenge to try and do and it's really neat to me that it has not only the exercise component but it's got the meal plan component. Um, I really am I'm liking it so far. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you about other than um, you definitely should take a look at this website um, with all the different programs and workouts and challenges and I mean there's just a ton of stuff on this website to look at so you could pick what might be better customized to you or what it is that you like or want to do um, but so far um, this has been great I, like I said before I'm on day four um, day two and three exercises were a little bit more focused on my legs on the legs so my upper thigh on the front of my leg is very very sore like getting up and down all night at work uh, in and out of the chair and I move around at work a ton um yeah I was very sore <laughs> but that's good that's a good thing it's so surprising to me when it's something that's normal for you like you I, I walk on my treadmill once in a while I ride my bike once in a while I do all sorts of stuff and try to stay active but obviously I'm not physically fit active maybe physically fit not so much so anyways 
that is going to be it for me, guys. Um, I'm really excited about this challenge. I hope that you'll join me. And if not join me, then at least take a look at the website and see what you think. Not a sponsor, for sure. But I think it's a really cool website. So um, out of a lot of the different boot camp type ideas that I came across online, I thought this one was really cool. So anyway, that's it for me for today. And um, I will start uploading videos again tomorrow for day one. Alrighty, you guys take care and I'll see you again soon.